Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Since last time, I made my way back to the township, and I finally want to show something with the fusion lab here. First thing, with Aspara, her wisdom is 155 right now, even though she's fused with Sesso there, but whenever you gain a level and you gain some stats, the game doesn't recalculate your wisdom stat based on... Your new stats, it, you have to refuse with the shaman to get the updated stats. And there's a quick, quicker way of doing it, as a couple people have reminded me. Use the index option, and then you just look up any shaman fusions that you've already done. You just do that, boom, you've got your fusion without having to go through that fairly lengthy animation there. So, thanks for letting me know about that. And as you can see, because Aspara gained so many levels since before going into Highland there, yeah, she has much more wisdom. Because it's based on a percentage of your base stats. Which is how the shamans work as far as stats go. Let's see what everyone else has to say here for a little party talk. Why not? I want to get... But... I almost said blue, but now, uh, Dace into my party, because that's the only way she says anything. Everyone else, I think, either says the exact same thing as they do in the lobby or in their rooms, or it's inconsequential, like, oh man, I'm so self-conscious, or something, uh, about their weight with the whole Tunlin Queen problem going on. Oh, hmm. Well, yeah, we had some stuff like that going on back in the day. Ah, oh, hmm. The devil made me do it! Let's see, I don't think anyone's here except... Oh, Spara's on this floor, right. Ah, oh, well, you just toot your flute and there you go, I guess. Ah. Oh. I thought music was the universal language. Let's see, I'm guessing this room is supposed to be Ryu's room because no one ever shows up in there. But I don't think there's anything Ryu can do here, if this is even Ryu's room at all. So, yeah, that's kind of pointless, but okay. Let's see, this is Rand's room. I'm starting to memorize where all the rooms are now. Oh, yeah, evidently. Whether they get you results or not. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're a frog, though. Especially compared to most of your fellow citizens. Oh, really? Excuse me, princess. But... You're not a, you're not actually a princess though. Not. I mean, I guess by birth she is, but I thought she was kind of kicked out. Oh, maybe I don't know. Whatever works for you. Oh, oh right, I already talked to this. I was like, wait a minute, where'd she go? She's just warping around everywhere. Well, fortunately, Aspara will be learning the Warp spell soon. I think she learns it at level 19, if I recall correctly. Okay, so let's bring her back in here. And I actually really do want to use Aspara in the upcoming dungeon, because there's a particular enemy there that she can really help out with. So now we need to look for that diet wizard. He's on an island somewhere. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to know where it is, but I'll just tell you. If you go about here and then go north, oh, we got a little island here where the diet wizard is. Now the diet wizard is actually in the cave to the right there, but I don't wanna go there right away because, well, there's something I want to do here first. Let's see. Also, as far as my 
setup goes. I've got the flame sword on Ryu, though I still have the alloy sword for other enemies that aren't weak to fire. Let's see, I don't think I made any changes to Bosch there. Basically, I just want to make sure that I've got like 76 vigor or more, so that I'll be faster than one of the more annoying enemies in the area. But Aspara, yeah, she's not going to get much faster, so don't worry about it. But yeah, there's just a treasure that I want to get that's a little bit out of the way. And I have to kill some new enemies to do that. Okay, let's see. Beckon's Room. These guys are weak to fire! And they have a lot of magic resistance. So, let's see. Let's have Sten and Bosch go after the one there. Aspara, she's probably not going to be able to do a whole lot. Oh, I should have switched to Scatter Formation. Nice. Well, that'll make life a little more interesting. I'm not even worried about being zombied or rotting or whatever. Hey, go Bosh! Let's see, what else can these guys do? Well, that's about all they can do that's interesting. I, I guess they can uh, cast Rejuvenate. Oh, wait, hold on. Scatter. Yeah, when I brought the new part party members back, I just forgot to set that. Whoops. Okay, so let's yeah, get back up there and keep on going. Now you are, well, as you can see, you have to bring Sten along, even just to get to the mandatory parts of the dungeon. Okay, and here's another new enemy, Mykonid. These guys are the ones that I was worried about. They can put you to sleep with their sweet breath. So, let's see, let's go... Yeah, let's just have everyone do that, and I'm gonna have Aspara cast Frost, because those, what are they called, bomb seeds? They are weak to ice! So we can definitely take advantage of that. Of course, if everyone else just kills the miking it before we get a turn, so much the better. But yeah, Spara can actually help out a little bit here. Yeah, I'm a little surprised we didn't quite kill all of them, but oh well. Ryu could probably one-shot the Mykonid, and he has barely enough speed to make that happen before it can use Sweet Breath on us. Hey, all right! That's like, uh, I forget exactly what that does. I think it's like a Mega Elixir or something. Ah, okay, well, it doesn't restore AP, but that works for, I think it works for all party members. So, yeah, might want to save that for later. Okay, so I just wanted to get that ch one chest that was a little out of the way. Let's warp out of here. And then we'll actually progress with the plot here. So that way I don't have to... Go up there for that treasure on the second trip after... Well, I was going to say resting up, but we got a healing fountain there, too. That works. Hey, okay, let's go. Oh, nuts. Ah, oh, why here specifically? That seems rather oddly specific. Hey, okay, how's it going? Ah, okay, never mind then. What, you just don't like Sten or something? Ah, okay. What do you mean by that? Don't answer that, viewers. So, for this part, you need a female party member, and Aspara counts when she's in her mushroom girl form. If she's in one of her other forms, then I would imagine this wouldn't work. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, right, yeah, the, the whole real reason why we're here. Okay, let's go. Well, yeah, 
didn't you know? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Ah, right. Max. Okay, what's up? What do you mean? I'm not that desperate. That too. I mean, she's just a mushroom. Ah, oh, okay. So, can you help us? Okay, great. We're gonna have to ride a whale to get all the way over there. What house? You're in a cave! How does it even work? I mean, I'd be worried about a cave-in or something around here. But alright! Well, not exactly more party members, but it gets the job done. Okay, we can't warp just out of here. Wait, does that guy say anything else? Oh. Wait. That doesn't make sense. How does it even work? Okay, well, let's get out of here and get back to Melodia. It's about southwest of Mount Maori here. And, well, we gotta take him to the queen. And then he'll work his magic on her and we'll be able to get our pillow, hopefully. Unless there's another dungeon we need to go through. Whoa. Huh. Almost didn't make it here in time. Before nightfall, that is. Get out of my way. How many stairs do you need to get up here? I would think she would have had a hard time climbing the stairs up to this point in the plot. Oh. Yeah, probably. I wonder who would be in charge after the queen would die. I don't know that they have a princess or a prince or any relatives around here. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Ha ha. Well, at least they're being upfront and honest with us. What do you mean, a tight schedule? Well, I guess she's kind of going to die. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't answer that, viewers. Yeah, perish the thought. <laughs> Well, yeah, I could have told you that. One of the seven sins, or however many there are. Hey, hey! Wow, that was easy. Oh. That's... How did you come to that conclusion? Oh. Well, yeah, she keeps on eating. Nuts. Well, even if she turns into a monster, I doubt she's going to be able to hurt anyone. Well, yeah. She's a queen. What did you expect? Oh, of course there's a demon possessing her, making her obese. Why not? Oh, good, good. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Well, what kind of assistance? You can answer that, viewers. Ah, okay. Yeah, sure. What? What do? You, why do we need to go back there, though? Well, who do I deliver the letter to? Ah, oh, there we go. How do you even pronounce it anyway? Maori? Maori? Mori? I don't know. Whatever. We're only gonna go there one more time and that'll be that. And I won't have to worry about pronouncing it anymore. But alright, we're done with our business here. I'll just meet you back at Mount Maori so we can talk to the apprentice there. Okay, we're back. So let's talk to the apprentice about something. I'm not sure why we need to talk to him. How's it going? Oh, we just got back. Ah. Okay. Oh. Good for you. We kind of need to save the queen's life, though. Well, yeah, I told you that when I came here the first time. All the way to the top of the mountain. So, we're going to find a magic mushroom. To save the queen from morbid obesity. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, remember that for later, viewers. You need to find that exact kind of mushroom because there's a whole bunch of other ones up there that look just like it, but the spots are in slightly different places. So, yeah, you gotta be careful to make sure you get the right one. Can we find it? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.